Welcome to the Motive Wave video tutorial series. In this video, we'll be looking at how to plot Elliott waves using the manual Elliott wave tools. Um, this is just a video on how to plot the Elliott wave tools. We'll go into the different preferences and different options and additional features of the Elliott wave um, functionality in Motive Wave in different videos. So, in this example, I'm in the Motive Wave console. I've got it open here. And then I've opened up the S&P index in a new chart just so that it gives me a little more real estate to work with. And I use the S&P just because there tends to be some good wave formations on the S&P index. And I'm looking at the one day so that we've got plenty of space. So um, when normally when you're coming into mode of wave, your cursor is on the drag tool, which looks like a little hand. And there are a couple of ways to get to the Elliott Wave tools. If you're already um, familiar with Elliott Wave and you have a generally good understanding of how the wave patterns are laid out and how you would plot them, then you can use um, the Elliott Wave tools from the Tools drop-down menu and that is up here. So right now I'm on the drag tool. You can see it's the little hand. If I use the drop-down arrow next to it, um, I can go down and I can choose either the Impulse, Correction, or Triangle Elliott Wave tools. So in this example I'm going to choose Impulse and you can see my cursor changes to the little um, wave symbol with the plus and the little dot. And the little dot is what you're using to point out the, um, or to plot the points you want. So I simply just mark out the five wave pattern. So I'm not saying this is the specific Elliott wave pattern you should be plotting. I'm just using this for um, demonstration purposes. But I'm going to come down here and you can see when I'm over the bars as I hover um, a little red square shows up and highlights that bar. That means when you click it will actually attach the count to that specific bar. So it's actually attached to the bars in the chart instead of just being a text label. So I'm going to come down here and Start there, one, two, three, four, and five. So once you click the fifth point, it automatically fills in um, the wave pattern for you. And you can always manually adjust these points afterwards. Okay. Um, one thing about Motive Wave is all of the rules and guidelines have been built into the software. So if you do plot a point that violates or breaks one of the Elliott Wave rules or guidelines, it will warn you, um, it will tell you what rule you've broken. So for example, if I had plotted this uh, third point here, for example, I get two little warning things. So on the three, if I hover over it, it says wave three does not complete beyond the termination of wave one. So it's telling me I need to move this point so that it's higher than wave one. So if I move that back up here, that disappears. This still has a problem. So I move over here. This says wave four terminates before the end of wave three. So this is telling you um, it should be lower than um, number three. So if I move three back up here, now it's saying that this is a valid layout. It may not be the proper layout, but it's not breaking any of the rules. So that's one way to plot your points. If I click on the, the wave pattern again, if I want to decompose, I pick the area that I want to decompose. So for example, if I wanted to decompose wave one, I right click on that part of the wave and I go to decompose and it's telling me that the only two valid patterns that could fit in there is the impulse or the leading diagonal. So for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to pick the impulse. I'm not saying that's the correct one. I choose that and it automatically tries to fit in um, those points. And if you want to move those points around, you just click on that and move them around to wire them up to wherever you want. So it puts in the pattern of the impulse and then you can just wire it up however you like. And then when I click off, it's in there. Again, if I wanted to decompose uh, wave three here, I would just right click on that 
choose decompose and it's telling me this time the only option is an impulse. So I do that, it gives me um, the proper layout of an impulse with 3 being higher than 4, etc. and then you just line it up to where you want it. So I'll just move those around. And again I'm getting a message here, it says wave 3 is the shortest wave. So there we go. So that's how to plot using the tools from the drop down tools menu if you're very familiar with um, Elliott Wave and you still have the option of getting the warnings and adjusting as necessary. If you're new to Elliott Wave or if you want some more options than are listed in that tools drop down, you can open the components panel. So if I go to view here and I choose components, it's going to open up this components area on the left side and it's got different tabs for the different options. So right now I want to go into the Elliott Wave tab, which is this one at the bottom here. And depending on what edition or what modules you've purchased, you're going to see um, different tabs in here. You may only have the general components, um, or you may have a GAN and Gartley uh, tab, as well as Elliott Wave and Fibonacci. It depends on what you've purchased. So under the Elliott Wave tab, these are all of um, the tools that you can use. So I'm actually going to go back to my chart here and I'm just going to select that and hit delete. And if you ever make a mistake, if you move something that you didn't need to you didn't mean to move or if you've deleted something you didn't mean to delete, there is the undo button right here. So if I had deleted that by mistake, I could click undo and it brings it back. And every time you click it, it will bring back the last thing you added or removed um, from your charts. So if I wanted to redo the delete, I could hit the redo button. Um, and if you want to remove everything that you've put on, and this means in the entire time frame. So if you have stuff way back, you don't necessarily want to do this, but if you've started a new chart and you've made a mistake and you just want to clear it all, you can use the control button, hold that down, and hit A, which is a common select all term in um, different computer software programs. That'll select everything on the chart and then you just hit your delete button and it removes everything you're back to a fresh chart. So instead of using the drop down tools in here, I'm going to use the tools that are in the Elliott Wave tab. So um, again, if I wanted to do an impulse, I would come up here and you have different options. I can either double click and it will pop it onto the chart or I could right click and say add to and I've only got one graph here right now so I would say add to price graph or I can click and drag this over so whichever way if you're a double clicker or a right clicker or a click and drag all of those options are available to you and I don't need two of them on the chart so I'll just delete that one it was highlighted so I just hit the delete button so this is telling me or giving me the shape that I want to try and match up on the chart. So if I take the zero, it looks like maybe that could go there and this could go here and that could go there and that could go there and five up here. And that's a simple um, way to do it. So if you are still learning Elliott Wave, trying to get used to the patterns, this will be very helpful for you because you can see what the pattern should generally look like. And that's it for the um, general use of plotting the points onto the charts. Again, if you wanted to decompose any of these, you can just right click, choose decompose, and pick one of the options that are available to you and then line up again it gives you the pattern it should follow and you just take those points and match them up to the bars. Okay so if um, you have more questions about Elliott Wave um, 
on the time analysis or the wave analysis, those will be covered in another video. So look back at our, our training video tutorials and look for those videos as well. There's also an auto wave um, video for Elliott Wave. If you do have the auto wave functionality, look for that video as well. Thank you very much.